This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I'm Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Today, we're going to talk about gold diggers. This is Let's Talk with Liz, and of course, I'm Liz. So let's get right to it. Now, the thing that I want to talk about with gold diggers, huh, I see a lot of videos uh, <laughs> with guys that have nice cars. And at first, the young ladies don't want to talk to them because maybe they look like scrubs. But in the end, you know, a lot of them, they have, when they find out that these guys have these nice cars, they want to talk to them. They want to get in the car with them. And, you know, uh, a lot of these females are considered to be gold diggers. And shout out to all of my uh, YouTubers, my fellow YouTubers who make those videos. I mean, me, my family, uh, we laugh so hard because of the reaction that, you know, a lot of women do give after they find out that, hey, these guys have these nice rides and things of th that nature. So what I wanted to get into is let's ask ourselves a couple of questions. One, is she really a gold dick? Or two, is the female just somebody who really wants somebody with something, um, you know, uh, instead of having somebody with nothing? Let's, let's put it that way. Uh, in today's society, you know, we, as parents, we teach our young ladies to, you know, of course they can go, they can be go getters, get a good education and, you know, be her own boss. And, you know, um, also we teach our children to, you know, kind of look, of, look for someone with, um, a little bit of like characteristics and things that we should go for when we're looking uh, to date somebody, possibly marry. You want uh, to be, uh, I wouldn't say taken care of, but you want security. A woman wants security. A woman wants to know that she's protected and a woman wants to be loved and a man wants to be respected. So when I feel that when an African-American woman <laughs> per se go and she's looking for those things in a man with a lot of money and things of that nature, I feel that uh, she's really be she's really being put out there as being a gold digger. And when it's a Caucasian woman, I don't feel like she's being considered to be a gold digger. She's considered to be a woman who uh, wants to live a, a better quality of life, you know, and people generally really don't give a Caucasian woman or a woman of other ethnic backgrounds um, the, I would say the bad side of it as they do the African-American women. Um, even when you see a lot of times, you know, and let's put this claimer in there that I am not prejudiced at all. I'm just saying what I see in society. Uh, if I've, I've heard Caucasian women and women of other ethnic backgrounds, um, say that, you know, you know, even with, um, different cultures, Indian culture, Asian cultures, their their daughters are made to look for someone who basically is making a good salary, you know, at, at his his job, and you know, someone who has something, you know, that can put them in a nice nice home, not no you know shabby shack. They get nice homes, or they have the possibility to go out there and buy a nice home, and um, you know, even have nice vehicles and all of those things. Things, um, where they're able to provide and be the provider and nothing is said about that. In a lot of cultures, the young women aren't even allowed to get married until, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, they respect their parents to know that, hey, they want somebody that's going to really, really, you know, be able to provide. And yes, we living in a world where things are changing, um, but still, you know, they want that nice lifestyle. And we when an African-American woman wants to have that same lifestyle, I feel that 
You know, a lot of people want to call her a gold digger because she wants to be, you know, provided for, um, knowing that she have that security, just like the Caucasian woman or the Asian woman or the Indian woman. She wants to know that she has that, you know, security as well. Um, yes, we all can go out, we can work. And that's what a lot of women are doing now, especially African American women. We have always been out front, um, taking care of the household. This is, you know, that's just normal and natural seem like we've always been there to take care of the households and you not only just take care of the household, household, excuse me, but also being, um, the ones to get out, to go work and bring home the bacon, you know, um, so I don't know what you guys opinions are about that. What do you see happening? And, uh, you know, how could we change, you know, things of that nature? I do believe that sometimes we bring things upon ourselves, not just being, um, African American, but just women, period. You know, sometimes we kind of put ourselves in some situations. And of course you have to be very careful with that because sometimes when men know that that's all you're thinking about is just getting a bag and, you know, getting his bag rather and having his money, then you could be in a situation where you have to be dependent on that. And by no means, uh, am I saying that any woman should be depending on, you know, living off of a man, you know, because I've always worked all my life. So I do know the value of hard work. Uh, I'm just saying that if a Caucasian woman or a Asian woman or Indian woman can have some values as to or standards as to what they want. Why are they looked upon as being able to get those things and have those things? But when it comes to African American woman, she is considered to be a gold digger per se and expected not to have those things. And that's the thing that really bothers me. So I'm wanting to know what you guys think about that you know, um, and just share that with me. Uh, and let me know, have anyone else ever experienced that? Um, I have seen shows on TV that I have heard, uh, you know, certain women, she was a Caucasian woman and she said she only dates millionaires. So, you know, of course people want to would probably call her a gold digger, but that's her standard. It's just like a person who is like, you know, a multimillionaire or a billionaire per se. I don't see them going out buying no, uh, hoopty. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't see them going out, uh, you know, having nothing, nothing wrong with the hoopty, honey. Cause if, if you got to have it and take it from point A to point B, I understand. <laughs> Excuse me. But if you have a, a multimillionaire or a billionaire, what I'm saying is I don't see them, uh, driving a inexpensive car. I see them driving Bentleys, Rolls Royces, you know, very expensive sports cars. They have planes. They're not riding in the coach. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, so their standards are high because they have the money to pay uh, for their lifestyle and what they want to have. So if a woman feels that she is worth, you know, a man spending that type of money on her, why is she considered to be a gold digger? You know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying why is she considered to be a gold digger if she have such high standards? for herself and she wants to live that type of lifestyle. I don't think that all women are gold diggers. I think they have certain standards that they have, that they a lifestyle that they want to live. You know, you don't know a person's background, where they came from, you know, uh, where they've been. So if the person have that type of uh, standard for themselves that they say, hey, even a woman that says, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to date anybody that makes less than six figures, you know, <laughs> is she a gold digger? You know, maybe, maybe not. She might just want to have a certain lifestyle that she wants to live. And if a man is willing to provide that, then what is the problem? Why do people want to call her a gold digger? I think that we need to stop looking at that as being a gold digger and looking at, Hey, I just want a better life or better standards. Um, you know, I have better standards for myself and I don't want a, uh, you know, Walmart pocketbook. I want... <laughs> 
Bagley and Mishka. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, though, I'm just nothing against Walmart because I love Wally World. Um, so, you know, give me some feedback. Let me know what it is that you all think about gold diggers. Do you think that a woman is a gold digger when she have a certain standard of or class financially wise or a man that she wants, um, you know, that that is a millionaire or a billionaire? Do you think that she is a gold digger if she has those type of standards and those the only type of men she would date? Or do you think that um, it's just her standards and what she the lifestyle that she wants to live? Give me, you know, some feedback in the comment section and um, I'll be sure to to really respond uh, to you. I thank you so, so much um, for listening to my show on today. And thank you for joining me. Uh, You can share this with your friends, family, anybody who may also have a comment about it. Uh, Don't forget to comment uh, in the comment section and remember to love you.